Um, this next one, I get, it's a bit, it's a bit new, so to speak, because of COVID and everything. But I guess describe the recruiting process and how that's been for you. Ooh, that was tough. Um, the recruiting process, honestly, it started when COVID started. So unfortunately, like it was only phone calls and Zooms and I never really got to have a feel for it. Um, I talked to a lot of coaches and then it got up after the AAU I had this summer. Um, I had a few more mm -hmm. offers and that's when I was like, okay, I'm close to making my decision. Um, so it was tough, but I'm happy I got through it and committed to Penn State. Oh, for sure. No doubt. And then, um, I mean, even more so with COVID, how was it being recruited out of Canada? Because at least when I know when I was playing, they, um, a lot of coaches, I don't want to say that they think negatively of Canadian athletes, but they like, the they have a certain being real, like the competition yeah. isn't the same when you're playing in Canada versus when you're playing against us athletes. So I guess, you, of course, did AAU, you did Team Canada, so they got to see you against, like, top competition. But just how um, – did you feel like coaches recruited you differently because you're coming out of Canada, or how did that go? Um, honestly, I think so. And that starts with who comes to watch your games, you know, yeah. and who do you play. Like, for example, if they hear, oh, this is a Canadian team and they're playing against this team, but they're not even that good, they're not going to come watch just because, <laughs> you know, sometimes – and I was lucky enough to be part of some great AAU programs, which are recognized by coaches, NCAA coaches and JUCO coaches and every coach. And when I go play, they're like, oh, it's a Canadian team, but I heard they're good. So I'm going to go watch. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's dope. And then um, I guess going more with the AAU because like, I'm not, well, like, obviously I know how AAU works. I'm just not too familiar with the AAU scope the landscape and like the different teams so would you, were you playing on like one of the top AU teams in Canada and then you traveled of course to the states and stuff just just for clarification yeah that's what I did okay got you got you okay yeah no that's dope that's dope shout hey shout out to your AU team and keep yeah. going crazy with it <laughs> <laughs> um and then I guess more on the the recruitment side of things so talk to us about your recruitment leading up to you committing to Penn State and then also with that what was it about Penn State that you think, um, or, yeah, that you would say drew you into them? Um, so I was on the AAU and it was our last game. And that's where the coaches are allowed to contact you. Mm -hmm. And it was the morning of, and a coach called me and I was like, wait, I don't have this number registered in my phone. And it was actually a coach that transferred university and now she was at Penn State. And mm -hmm. I was so happy to hear her voice because she's actually one of the only coaches that made me feel so comfortable during the process when we were talking. And we spoke and she was like, yeah, I'm at Penn State now. And she was telling me about the school. And then I figured out that, oh, this is a good school. Like, this is a good school. So then, you know, I took my visit. And honestly, what made me go there, like I, the same thing I found at Dawson, I found at Penn State. And it's that sisterhood. And also, like, their athletics is amazing. Like, they have a great football team. They have great teams, like volleyball and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. and the resources and most importantly the academics because I do want to do stuff after so exactly. yeah yeah no of course that that's amazing yeah definitely from hearing you speak like the academics is like you're like you take student athlete like it's it, you're a true student yeah, athlete student. Like, you know you're not exactly you're not just <laughs> student, there, like, student first, student and, first like, other second. stuff comes second like you're you're gonna yeah. get your schoolwork done so that's huge 